Testosterone prescriptions for older men in the United States have increased more than threefold over the past decade, despite risks of being poorly understood. Now, for the first time, a new study conducted by researchers at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston has produced an answer to the question, does testosterone therapy increase men's risk for a heart attack? Recently, in the last three years, there have been studies done assessing the link between testosterone use and cardiovascular disease. So these recent studies have caused a lot of concern among patients, their families, and physicians. So this motivated our research team to investigate the link between testosterone use and heart attack in a cohort of Medicare beneficiaries. The team here at UTMB conducted a study of over 24,000 Medicare beneficiaries across a span of up to nine years. They examined over 6,000 testosterone users who were at least 66 years old and matched them to over 18,000 testosterone non-users. The, the Medicare data that we used um, was broadly representative of the entire United States. We used statistical methods to ensure that the testosterone users were carefully matched to the testosterone non-users on a number of factors, including clinical risk factors, demographic characteristics, social variables. So these two group, groups were comparable. The results of our study were that testosterone users did not have an increased risk of heart attack over the study period compared to testosterone non-users. Dr. Belarjan believes that this study, placed alongside existing studies, provides evidence that testosterone therapy does not increase the risk of heart attack in men. So we conducted a range of sensitivity analyses to ensure that these findings were robust across a range of different exposure thresholds, follow-up periods, uh, inclusion criteria. And when we ran these analyses, we found that our, our findings, our major finding of no increased risk of heart attack in the testosterone user group persisted across all of these sensitivity analyses. So this gave us confidence in, in the robustness of our findings. However, he continued to state that the only way to be absolutely certain on this is with a large clinical study where patients are followed for decades. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.